Hi friends, this is Miss Anne here at the Warminster Township Free Library and welcome back to our final take and make for the year. Today we're going to be making a DIY confetti popper, exactly. And this is one that I made as a demo and this is what it'll look like when you're done, um, minus the confetti. So let's talk about what's in your kit. If you pick up a kit here at the library, what will you get in your kit? A toilet paper tube like this. A piece of paper like this that'll go around your toilet paper tube, like I did with mine. And then a balloon, which is really in here. Last but not least, and I'm not taking all of those out, though there's a couple of pieces stuck to this one, is tissue paper. I'm not taking it all out because it'll get everywhere. All right, so we have our balloon, the major portions of what you're gonna need. Uh, toilet paper tube, piece of paper, and then of course that balloon. Okay, so with the balloon, what are you gonna do? Um, this is where you're gonna need parental supervision uh, because you're gonna need a parent to really help you with this first step. We need to blow up the balloon. Seems like a simple thing, but these balloons are kind of small, so it does take a little bit of doing. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the tips and tricks I learned when I was practicing. And you're gonna need a parent to help you cut the balloon in a certain way so that you can wrap it around um, on top of your popper. So here we go. The first step, and one of the things that I had to do a lot, is stretch out our balloon. You wanna give it a good stretch. Not too much, not too, uh, you know, and not too much because otherwise it might rip when you go to put it on the popper. Just a, like a little stretch here and there. Um, and then you're gonna try blowing it up, okay? So that's where the parent's gonna really be coming involved, so. If you're struggling, you might just need to give it another good little, um, you know, stretch. And sometimes because there's the little aperture parents are is a little small, it just might take a few tries to get it. Um, in the interest of time and for our video, I actually have one that I blew up. When you're done blowing it up, you're just gonna tie it. So now you have a balloon, you can play with the balloon if you'd like, but we're gonna move on to the next step. The next step is to carefully cut. Again, this is a parental thing. Parents should do this, not the kids. Just because um, if you puncture it too much, it will blow up. It will kind of, you know, explode, which I had happen once. You just want to pinch the one end, and all you want to do is just a quick little snip. Oops, I didn't get it. Just a quick little snip. So that way, just a tiny one. If you puncture it, like, with a nail or something, it might explode. Just a tiny little hole and just let it deflate. Okay. If you need to cut it a little bigger, you can cut it, but do it in like a T kind of formation. Um, you don't want to do it um, like too much because when you go to put it over, it could rip it. So just be careful when you do that step. And again, parents can help. All right, so the next step when you go to do this is to wrap around the piece of paper onto your toilet paper. Um, you'll need some glue for that one. I have Elmer's glue, but whatever glue you have on hand, um, if you have uh, like craft glue, um, if you have, let's say, some other type of glue that, you know, like the stick glue, that'll work. You just kind of want it to kind of go everywhere, um, you know, on that piece of paper. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going over the piece of paper with the glue. Um, you want to get the corners pretty nicely um, just so that way when you do the next step it'll be a lot easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the, you have all the glue on there, you're going to take the toilet paper and you're just going to place it on top like so. And you can actually put your fingers inside of it. And now you're just going to roll um, your toilet paper tube through like around and have the um, paper go around the toilet paper tube. There we go. And gently just kind of give, apply some pressure so that the glue kind of sticks. Okay. Get that glue on there. If you have any issues, you can tape the seam here. Um, that's perfectly acceptable. At this point, I recommend if you want to decorate your popper, you certainly can. You can do it at the end too. Um, when I say decorate, I mean decorate it even more than it's already decorated. You can, um, you know, use stickers, you can cray crayons, markers, paint if you're so inclined. But if you use paint, you're gonna have to wait for it to dry before using. 
um, or whatever else uh, you want to use to decorate. You can use pom-poms, though I will be honest, pom-poms might be really great for the popper itself. So now that we're done with that step, what we're going to do next is the hardest step probably. Blowing up the balloon is great, um, but we also want to use this balloon. First off, make sure all the air is out. Ooh, there we go. You're going to try to find that hole. Now what I recommend is maybe that tiny hole, you might want to just make it slightly bigger. And all I did is pinch it and just cutting a bigger piece out. There we go. So now it's like a kind of pretty big hole. Because you want to be able to stick your fingers in. There we go. That's better. The one time I tried it, uh, the tiny little hole is not going to be great. You definitely cut a little bit of a bigger hole. What you're going to do is you're going to use your hands and you're going to stretch parents. You want to get it stretchy and it might rip a little bit, but you want to get it stretchy enough that it can fit on top of your popper like that. And there you go. You're done. It's going to be a little disformed a little bit because of the elastic, but it's still will work. So remember with our, uh, with our balloons, you first want to blow it up, give it a little good stretch. When you blow it up, you're going to tie it. Then you're going to cut a little hole once it's all blown up and tied so that you can deflate. And then at the end, you'll just create a slightly bigger hole so that way you can wrap it around. Done it a couple of times and there were mistakes made. So I hope that you guys can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> That's why trial and error, super important. And now you're ready for the last step, which is the most fun step. You're gonna take your tissue paper. If you were to add this into your poppers, it would not work very well. So what we need to do is turn this into this. Ooh, what did I do? All I did was wrap them up and just take a piece and just crinkle them up into little pieces. And you have a lot in your in your kit if you pick up a kit. You can also supplement with pieces of paper, uh, pom poms, as I already mentioned. Um, there is confetti you can buy. I do not recommend trying that because that might be very messy. And do not use glitter. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> so yeah, just use the pieces of paper. They'll they'll clean up easy in a vacuum. Um, should be pretty simple. And just wrap some pieces. And when you're ready, you're gonna take your popper. And you're just going to have it with the balloon face down. You're going to take your pieces of confetti that you've made like this. And you're just going to put it on the inside. You can use as much as you want or as little as you want. You should have enough to try this more than once. And especially if the kids go and collect all the confetti. And when you're ready, you can say, Happy New Year! And just like that, you have your confetti popper. And I actually still have more in here. So maybe I can try it again. Happy New Year! Oh, that didn't work. Maybe I need to add a few more pieces. Sometimes they get kind of stuck on the bottom. There we go. Add a few more pieces. There we go. Happy New Year. There we go. <laughs> so that is how you can make your very own confetti popper. Just in time for New Year's. All right, everyone. We are done for today. We wish you guys a very happy holidays. Happy New Year. Uh, to everyone and we hope to see you very soon at the Warminster Township Free Library in 2022. Until next time everyone.